Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and the inventor of the CTKS method and Borsog Trading. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin is currently down 1.55% to 23,326. Ethereum is down 1.19% 1 to 1679. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you for tuning in. I love sharing this time together. What we've just been doing is a quick run through of the sectors of the crypto market. This is incredibly valuable information to refer back to at some point in the future. It also gives you an incredibly good insight into what sectors are moving on a day-to-day -day basis and we know that inside the crypto market that opportunities reset daily. Also gaining this context helps you to see further than most people actually generally look in terms of their analysis of the crypto market. I've left helpful links in the description of this video such as the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass available through these links, the tax software I use and you can always reach out and directly message me on Twitter at any time. As crypto technical analysts, we subscribe to the CTKS Creed. That primes us for profitability in the crypto market. And this is simply just a list of things that we say to ourselves. I know the universe wants me to succeed. Every day I show kindness, integrity and gratitude. I know opportunities and life reset daily. I am worthy. I go slow to go fast. I start small and scale with Borsog. Life pullbacks give me the strength for the next life rally. I am dedicated and committed. I win or learn and never blame. Rule 45. No ult can escape Bitcoin's gravity. Turning to the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we can see it's currently 39. And it's interesting that we've had such a big bout of optimism in the crypto market and we're witnessing increasing prices. But we've also seen a bit of a curling over, maybe a bit of a local top just at the moment. We were talking back to the C19 US liquidity crisis back in March of 2020. And we were saying that this optimism could return into the market. It's really interesting because if you look at the news headlines, there's no optimism out there whatsoever, but the prices are going up. Let's turn our attention into Bitcoin and see what's cooking. What we've seen recently is this resistance line was actually blown through on very, very high institutional buying. When you get a wick like this, so strong and so solid, that's the institutions coming in. But the institutions also go the other way and tend to reverse their wicks at some stage. And what we notice, this particular support line playing out down here, what did we actually witness? from 24 onwards we can see yesterday the price was just around this area and i said there was the potential to fall below that potentially come back and retest and resume down that's pretty much exactly what happened this is one of the things that we must always consider in a negatively priced and negatively biased market like the one we're finding ourselves in now when you get a cut of support you have to take it really seriously. It doesn't mean it will just drop. What you saw in the past trading session, we actually came back up to 24,177 and now we're starting to drop down. Does that immediately mean we're going to just fall, 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 or we're going to rally up or we're going to consolidate? This is a and F. Just consider what you will do if price goes against you. Do that first. That's the A in a and F. Or it goes neutral. It just goes nowhere. It just consolidates in a range. Or lastly, if it goes for you. 
So what is actually going on here? We can see the sellers have been very, very strong at that C level, 24,177. They managed to suppress the buyers, push down the price, except for this little flip up, which was then institutionally pushed down. And then what do we say? We've been trying to hold on to this particular short term support at 23,801, but that's become resistance. You can see how it plays through here. And now the prices have resumed downwards. We must always take into consideration we control the trade, but the market controls the return. So long as we're on the right side of the percentage, we're going to do really, really well. We have a specific rule, rule 621, which says buy on red, sell on green, or Borsog for short. I invented Borsog trading to help people to get into the synchronization pattern of the market. It's unlike any other trading method. You just use coffee money. Coffee money is money you can afford to do without. Hey, it's a coffee. Everybody has coffee. Well, if you don't, you have tea or perhaps water, but you get the idea. It's just a way to synchronize in with the market and it's in and out trading. It's not dollar cost averaging. It's not trying to buy the low and to sell the high. It's trying to get into the synchronization pattern of the market. It's incredibly different. What generally happens is people see a rule and they take it far, far too literally. So what would this mean? Buy on red. OK, Ken, I'm going to buy that red and I'm going to buy that red and price went against me. You can't be mindless how you do things. You have to have the knowledge. So, for example, buying on red will kick in at a specific point. Just don't use it as a blanket statement. This is why I don't put out a rule book of all my rules. They're multifaceted and you need a lot of understanding to actually implement them. That's why I teach that understanding through the masterclass. Many people say they buy the dip and are kept on dipping. There's memes all over the place <laughs> for that particular thought. You have to be really careful how you buy this in a negatively biased market. And it takes time to learn because you have to combat your emotional state. So what do the probabilities tell us? The probabilities tell us we're so far underneath. Well, at the current present moment, we're underneath all of this high level resistance. The probabilities would favor that we come back to A. If we cannot hold A because there's not much support through this area, we could drop down to either one or two, more likely two because there's more area here. We could get caught on one, which would slow price moving down and then get caught at two or at three. If we're considering the downward scenario, that's the A in A and F against. What about the N part of A and F? If it goes nowhere, it would just continue to consolidate between C, B, maybe dip down to A, maybe go up to D. We could find ourselves in a range. And when you Borsog, ranges can be absolutely gold mines. Now we have to consider the F scenario. What if, for example, we had price go for us? We got another institutional wick and we just came straight up. Well, we would anticipate some slowing around the sea level because that's been very, very well defended. We would expect light resistance at the D level. And then when we get above this particular resistance line, we would expect to head towards E. But you always notice the price doesn't just move straight somewhere. It goes straight up and wobbles around straight up and comes down. It's all over the place. Price is always moving in a wave. Just bear that in mind. A lot of people say, oh, I missed it. I missed it. I, I should have. I should have done this. I should have done that. Unless you've got the ability to see into the future, don't worry about things like that. The market is always there. You can always come back in later. And for example, a lot of people say, OK, I'm not happy with this. I'll just sell my positions here, for example. There's nothing wrong with doing that. If they find that the price reverses, they can just buy in then. It's really all about boresogging. Boresogging is getting in synchronization with the market. Just use coffee money until you get in sync with the market and then you can go harder. 
if you're out of sync with the market, whatever you do will cost you money. If you're in sync with the market, you move with the market, you actually get the returns that the market is prepared to give you. That's how you become more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. Let's get more of a perspective on what price is doing. We can see that we're still in weekend trading. What does this basically mean? The weekends can be all over the place. Let's have a look at Sunday. What it did is came down on Saturday night, went pretty much flat and then came down. What happened the last Sunday? It went up and came down on Monday. What about the Sunday before that? It spiked early and then sold off throughout the day. What about the Sunday before that? It came up, sold off, came up, sold off. Actually doing this kind of analysis can be really, really helpful for you. What about the Sunday before that? Sold off, came up, sold off, and then spiked on Monday. What about the Sunday before that? Went flatline, spiked, came down. And what did it do? Collapsed down. What happened on Monday? It went up. But you notice it's not just about the day. It's about the technical structure inside the market. We were under resistance here. That's what that blue line is. We were under, it got rejected. When you see price hitting a key level but not being able to get through it, you know in all probability the price needs to gather momentum. It will probably come down like Percy and his magnified fences. <laughs> Magnet, magnified fences, magnetic fences. Long time viewers will know what I mean. I think that's just so funny. I'm going to leave it in. Okay, let's come back to the current price action. What do we see? We've got support here. We've been trying to get through this resistance without much success. Price is overall positively biased at the moment, at the short term. That doesn't mean in the long term it will be. The markets are really volatile at the moment. So we have to keep boresogging and make sure that we're in synchronization with the market. Let's have a look at the longs and the shorts. The longs in here in green, what are they doing? They're being a bit tentative. They're saying, okay, I'm getting slightly more confident, but I'm not quite too sure. And what are the shorts saying? They're saying, hmm, longs, we're after you. We're going to start spiking up. And this could actually form a bit of a basing pattern in the shorts. What happens when the shorts spike up? Look at the directional correlation. It's so important that you actually can read a chart. So many people just want the charts to be read out to them. And of course, that's fine. But the issue is when you don't have anybody there, can you read the chart without somebody telling you what it's all about? For example, this spike up here in shorts, this red line, this is the price of Bitcoin. What happened to the price of Bitcoin? when the shorts started coming up. And how is that different from this particular spike? You can see what Bitcoin's price did and then what it did there. What about this spike? You see, this is how you need to look at the market. You need to gather all the probabilities. And inside the market, it's not quite so easy as to just say, oh, it's going up or it's going down, because that's not the way markets work. Markets are incredibly complex. But even so, you can draw inferences and you collect probabilities. And that's what we're all about. We've seen prices come down. How do you think the derivatives are going to play out? Well, let's check it out. Over the last 24 hours, there's been about 132 million in liquidations across nearly 62,000 positions. And when we look at total liquidations across the past 24 hours, 58% have been long liquidations. What about the past 12 hours? 61%. What about the past 4 hours? Ay caramba! Getting up to nearly 92%. What about the past hour starting to come down? We can say just round it up 76%. Ooh, okay, let's look at the daily. And what do we see? Well, more, sh uh, <laughs> more longs have been liquidated than shorts. And what about the day before? The same thing, more longs. What about the day before that? More shorts liquidated than longs. What about the day before that? We had a bit of a spike in liquidations on the shorts. But you can notice how the shorts and the longs are always getting liquidated. Let's have a look at Max Payne and see what Max is up to. Okay, we can see in the next day, 
We've dropped from 24,000 in max pain to 23,500 in max pain. So price is reacting. Max pain reacts to price, not the other way around. And what about the next day? It's also at 23,500. And we're expecting 23,000 max pain at the end of the month. And you say, Ken, what is max pain? I don't know what max pain is. Max pain is the price at which the majority of options expire worthless. It causes maximum pain to Bitcoin option holders. The options market is saying that the maximum pain would be for Bitcoin to just wobble around where it's pretty much at currently for the next two days. Looking at total value locked in DeFi, we can see TVL came up 0.59% to 89.27 billion in the past 24 hours. I'd just love to share this particular comment from Brett. Brett said, when we asked yesterday, okay, where do you think Bitcoin is going to? Brett said, Bitcoin to A for myself, my wife says B and my six year old says C. How cool is that? Hello to Brett and his wife and your gorgeous six year old as well. Something that I would like to share with you, rule 762, who will you become? For example, let's just say that you work everything out and you become a multi-billionaire or a multi-millionaire or whatever multi you wish. Who will you become then? Will you become a person of positive excellence and maintain real wealth foundations such as kindness, gratitude, happiness, inner and outer peace? Or will you go the other way and hold on to negative excellence, which is unkindness, conflict, aggression, blame? Brett had something incredible to share and so many other comments have incredible points in them as well. Language and patience are in hidden indicators of kindness. The words you choose to describe yourself and others are so important. If your language is caustic and destructive, then it will create chaos and destruction in your life. If you are not patient with others, you will be impatient with yourself and with your trades. Be mindful of how quickly you reply to others with a piece of your mind. As Ken says, you might need that piece, so hang on to it. And Brett also talks about the masterclass. The masterclass, if you follow through on Ken's teachings, you will change your life forever and you will begin to trade successfully. You will learn that money will not change you or make you happier. Being kind will. Money just makes you more comfortable. Kindness is our superpower. It totally is. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing to say, Brent. Thank you, my friend. It's really important to reflect who will you become? Who will you become when you get that promotion? Who will you become when you succeed at a specific goal? Who will you become if you focus on riches or you focus on wealth? And there's a light year between the two of those. And Rajat said something really good. How do you identify a person who is unkind? Signs of unkindness are anger and blame. Who will you become when you get really, really rich? Will you be more angry? Will you blame more? Or will you be kinder? This is a choice we all have to make. Developing empathy, patience and compassion is what Rajat suggests. And it's very, very good advice. Johnny says, with empathy and kindness, they have a strong positive correlation. It's hard to be unkind to someone if you can imagine all the pain they have gone through. And everybody goes through that pain in life. So everybody deserves kindness. Of course they do. And the key is to always start being kind to yourself first. You can't give what you don't have. Jade also shared, someone who is unkind belittles others, makes other people feel inferior, intentionally tries to hurt others. That's going to be counterproductive. Absolutely. And it's, of course, very, very true, Jade. To be kind, the identification of those behaviors, selflessness, giving, using healing language, being altruistic, which means actually putting others in front of ourselves, being generous, being helpful, and that takes a lot of thought and intention, but opens up new opportunities and new friendships. But going the other way, 
criticizing other people, making other people feel inferior or deliberately trying to hurt other people will close down new opportunities and will destroy friendships. People get into the crypto market because they want to become rich. They want to become wealthy. But the more important question is to obey rule 762. Who will you become when you get there? We know no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. So let's check out the gravitational pull of Bitcoin on our beloved alts. When we look at Ethereum, this blue line is Bitcoin's gravity. We can see Bitcoin decaying faster. Look at that. Ethereum is holding up strongly for now. We know gravity is gravity. Nothing can escape Bitcoin's gravity. When it starts to come down, we have to bear in mind that things will actually coincide with each other. That's the important thing with gravity, to understand it. In these rules, all the rules that I share with you, there's so many nuances to all of them. You have to really understand that. And Binance coin, we can see Binance coin moving in directional alignment with Bitcoin, but there's a lot more strength. Notice, for example, here on Bitcoin's price action, right up here, we can see at 23,768, there was a level of resistance through there. That's almost like the 271.30 level on Binance coin. And just see how much further price has actually gone and it's come back to this level. That would be like coming back to this level on Bitcoin, like 25,356. So that's why you want to look and compare Bitcoin's gravity, XRP. XRP is partying, go XRP, but it can't escape Bitcoin's gravity. That's why we need to look. I always say, what happened to your beloved alt? You can just say, can, that's easy, Bitcoin happened. Let's have a look at ADA. ADA is moving in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. What about Solana? It's stronger, but still moving in alignment. What about DOT? I mentioned quite a while ago that the potential for DOT and ADA to become stronger because they were weaker than Sol and Doge was very, very much on the cards. Please let me know in the comments what causes something that was weak to become strong or something that was strong to become weak. It's a really, really important aspect of your own learning and self-development in the crypto market. And we can see Doge is pretty much just stronger than Bitcoin's gravity, but it's moving in alignment as well. And this is what we always want to keep in mind. You need to understand Bitcoin if you're going to Borsog your fantastic and gorgeous alts profitably. And thank you to Gen B for your kind comment. And to Jay, if anyone is on the fence about taking the masterclass, I say, please just go ahead and do it. There's so much valuable information in there that a CTKS ambassador can give a 80% discount as well. It's really a steal. I'm so happy I did it and so grateful to Ken who encouraged me and the whole KS family who provided a very instructive conversation throughout. And I love this particular part. We are all here to learn and to help one another attain real wealth and positive excellence. And this is a fantastic community. Thanks so much, Jay. And Kate says hi. And she says hi to everyone. And Dreamsick, I'm sorry that you're not well, my friend. Dreamsick has had a bad virus. Dreamsick, maybe change your neck to dream, dream well. And to anyone going through a life pullback at the moment, and if you're unwell or just recovering, please know that our community's love and healing thoughts are with you. You're not alone. The sun will come out again. And it's just so incredibly important to keep a fighting positive mental outlook on these things. Your mind is so powerful. You can heal yourself. Just say healing words to yourself. It really, really helps. Let's have a look at the community favorites, TWT. Some interesting behavior in TWT, but it's following Bitcoin's directional movement. Just keep this in mind. And TRB, we can see TRB absolutely spiked up. TRB can be an incredible trade to be in, but it's also spiked down. Just be aware that coming up and coming down are part of crypto's inherent volatility. OG. What do we see with OG moving up as Bitcoin's gravity moved up and spiked, spiked and fell back. 
What about Arweave, AR? AR, moving in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. It's good to look at these areas too, to see what happened in there. What about IOTA? We can see moving in alignment with the general market and doing quite well is seeking to get above this resistance. But we know with IOTA and every other single alt, we know if they come down, it's probably 99% of Bitcoin's gravity. Ah, naughty Bitcoin. What about synthetics, SNX? SNX has been decaying for a longer period of time than Bitcoin. You can see Bitcoin came up here. It would be like synthetics came up and then it started to go down. But that's not what synthetics did. It actually went down earlier because it had a big up leg. You can see that big shoot up. You've got to be careful of these big shoot ups. They're great things to sell and not so great to buy. <laughs> Talking about that, let's have a look at Filecoin. Filecoin is on a rampage. And what we notice inside the crypto market, there are a variety of cryptos that just keep on going up and up and up and up and up. And then people say, oh, I'm certain it's going to go up. And then they hop on it and then they say, I got wrecked. Please be careful. Understand this pattern recognition. When things go up and up and up, Look at what follows. Does it ever not follow? Please let me know in the comments. And what about NKN? NKN is moving in alignment just recently with Bitcoin's gravity. Did a spike up here, just up here, and then fell down. And it's now weaker. Please let me know if there's any other tokens that you would like me to pop in here for you. Agalos, 36. Wow, you went into file and made 27% in less than 15 hours yesterday. You're a champion, my friend. I'm so happy for you. And what you actually learn with coffee money, it's all about learning, learning. You'll still learn all the time and it's great. And the fact that you're not in a hurry and you realize that the markets are always open and getting on the right side of the percentage is what it's all about. Thanks so much for your comment. And again, I'm so happy for you. I'm just thrilled to see our beloved global family succeed. It's just fantastic. And if you're not in synchronization with the markets at the moment, just think, just take a very, very small percentage of your investment portfolio and just use coffee money. You'll feel all the raw emotions that you would feel with larger positions. $1 is the same as $10 when it comes to anything. And money is money. We don't like losing. And if you learn, you'll get in synchronization with the market. And then when you're in synchronization, you can scale. That's what Borsog is all about. It's not buying low and selling high. It's not about any of that. That's the last thing that we do. We can't pick bottoms and we can't pick tops. Crypto is exponential by nature but we can participate and we can always learn better and more. I love what Tails wrote. There's no antidote for kindness because it's not a problem. It's a good thing. Kindness makes you incredibly powerful. In reverse, unkind people are weak and not in control of themselves, let alone others. And it will show eventually. Very, very wise words and meditative. Thank you, my friend. How do you identify an unkind person by their words and actions? People who are unkind do not ask and they do not care about anyone but themselves. They often talk negatively about themselves, others and the world in general. You often feel drained and exhausted being around them. And they also waste a huge amount of time. Free Dentist had a fantastic thing to share. Kindness to ourselves helps us to be kind to others. It does, my friend. Beautiful. Once you learn how to forgive and don't always be so hard on yourself. Fantastic. And Flamingo, welcome back. We totally missed you. And there's a wide variety of family members out there that haven't spoken for a while. And just know we miss you as well. We know who you are. We miss you. Flamingo, regarding kindness, remember the golden rule. Treat others as you want others to treat you. Sometimes people are unkind because they were treated unkindly. And they believe this is how one must act in order to get what he or she wants. Nothing could be further from the truth. 
We reap what we sow, so be kind. Very, very beautiful words, Flamingo. And thanks, Beauty. And to catch a year, 1986. I hope I said that correctly. I love what you did here. From C to B to A to 1 to D. Oh, you're a legend, my friend. I just love it. An unkind person is driven by short-term success only for herself or himself as well. No matter what the cost. Whereas a kind person considers how others reach their goals besides how they reach their own. Very, very clever. And there's a little story there you should read. It's just beautiful. And thank you also, Marshall. Very nice. Looking at the entire global crypto market cap is 1.08 trillion, down 1.1% over the past 24 hours. The greatest gainers, Filecoin, 23.52% up, ICP, 9.6% up, Polkadot, 4.7% up, Arweave, 4.5% up, HBAR, 3.7% up. And going the other way, BTG down 12.4%, Ravencoin down 9.7%, LDO down 7.9%, Ethereum Classic down 7.77%. Ooh. QTUM down about 6%. And Axie down around 6% too. Returning to Bitcoin, we can see that we've got some more data. The options market expects us to go flat, rotating between C and B, potentially down to A. And if we look at the NASDAQ, you can see that very faint line behind. That's the NASDAQ. That directional bias is downwards at the moment. They're the NASDAQ futures. But sometimes it helps to understand why does price necessarily have to go down if it crosses this line? What is support and resistance about anyway? Well, let's bring back a beloved family member and explain it. Welcome back, Percy. Ah, thank you, Ken. Percy is a magnetic price sheep. And what does Percy do? Percy, what do you do? I teach the port and resistance. Good on you, Percy. You bring a whole new dimension to the word teacher's pet. Ah, thank you, Ken. Okay, Percy, seriously, please explain how support and resistance works. Okay, Ken. All right, maybe I'll do it in my own voice because it's too hard to keep Percy's up. When we see price, just think of Percy. And what does a resistance line do? It actually creates a fence. And why a fence is bad? Because Percy can't get over. He's fenced in. No, don't box me in. Oh, it's like the song. And what happens to Percy as he's going? He hits the fence again. Oh, damn fence. Oh, the fence is in the way. And what happens? Percy gets his rocket on and shoots past the fence into the next paddock. Ha ha ha. I got over the fence. Take that fence. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. And then he comes down and he forms a new fence. And what happens when he gets to the other side? What happens when he jumps the fence? Oh no, I've lost the fence again. I'm going the other way now. Ah, uh, we do like to have fun. <laughs> so the concept is when price is below a fence, below a resistance line, poor old Percy can't get to the next fence. No, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, and when price creates support, Percy gets really confident that he can get through that fence, but it can take some time and sometimes a lot of power. Think that Percy has strapped a rocket to himself and blasted through the fence. But these fences are magnetized as well. That's why he's got a big magnet around his neck. Uh, let's have a look at Percy. This is Tails artwork. Wow, what a talent. Thank you so much, Tails, for donating this to the community. It's just beautiful. Tails is so incredibly talented. And let's have a look. What does it mean? He's magnetized. Percy is magnetized to these lines. If he gets too far away, what happens? The line whoop, magnifies him, <laughs> magnifies him, magnetizes him back. And you can see here. And that's why this magnetic polarization works. It works to the upside and to the downside. So that's Percy. Congratulations to everybody who's new. You've met a rock star. Oh, thank you, Ken. Let's have a think. Where do you think Percy will stop in the next 24 hours? 
please give me a letter or a number. Love to hear your thoughts and your comments. I'd like to thank all the very kind and generous global family members who've reached out and bought me a coffee. So beautiful of you. And to Rollo, thank you, my friend. That's very, very sweet. And Vicente, thank you. Thank you, Ken, for your tireless work. We continue to learn and apply our knowledge little by little. And Rollo, thanks again for your crypto market content, Ken. And Edmund, thank you, Ken, for making an impact on many and their loved ones' lives. Keep it up. That's beautiful, Edmund. And just to let you know, within the next week, I'm going to put out a new post for the very kind members who've bought me a coffee. That's Each post is a separate video that goes through different rules. And much of the content on this particular channel is not available anywhere else. I do this every month as just my way of saying thank you and I appreciate your generosity. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers and to the CTKS ambassadors for assisting masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and for being part of our global family. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the tax software I use and links to the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. Please seek out an ambassador to get 80% off and partial scholarships are still open. I'll leave the link in the description as well as in the comments section for you to apply. Please remember, Crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.